Hey there, beard lovers. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? Cause I've got the, uh, the, fa uh, the hair. That's just a little homage to Wheezy Waiter, who you can see more of if you click right here. It's one of the funnier personalities on YouTube. Thinking about making it a thing. I'm not gonna make it a thing. That would be unoriginal and kind of rude. I'm not gonna make it a thing. Unless I make it a thing. Now the real reason we're here, Spin Tunes, round four. Let me start by saying that this competition was really hard to judge. Uh, I was sort of expecting uh, two or three people to come out of the woodwork that would be pretty good and everybody else would be, you know, okay, but that wasn't the case. It was, everybody was really top notch and it was very difficult to judge songs, especially early on when we had 20 something contestants. So congratulations to everybody who participated. It was really great work. So in the interest of time, I'm just reviewing the final four uh, on video. Uh, I will try to post uh, written reviews on my blog for all the shadows. In order for me to keep my judging as objective as possible, I've been doing a letter grade system throughout the contest, uh, breaking the song into different elements um, to help categorize everything. Now, for these final four, they pretty much got A's all the way through, so we're not going to discuss the details in that respect um, because they all, they all nailed it. Um, so I'm really just going to go through uh, and talk about uh, what I liked most and rank it based on that. Now the challenge for this final round was to write a song from the point of view of a video game character. And uh, everybody uh, nailed that. That wasn't a real issue for anyone. So starting from the top, Zarni, um, really an amazing singer-songwriter and pianist. This is, you did a really great job with this one. Um, I really like the mood that was set. It, it sort of complemented the game itself. The chorus had a really nice hook to it. I really like some of the changes in the song. The lyrics were really great. I don't have too much critically to say about it. It's a really good song. Mitchell. Uh, I like the song right away. I liked how you incorporated uh, the video game noises into the, uh, into the song. Um, it's very catchy. The melody and the instrumentation really worked well and complemented the whole uh, Mario Brothers series of games. I really like this one a lot. Uh, the great, of course, had a great hook to it. Um, it's a great song, really, really well done. Now, Rebecca. This song was really cool. Um, and it made me look at the video game actually in a, in a different light. I, I always thought of it as, as a child's game and suddenly it had this dark spin to it, which uh, was kind of cool. Uh, lyrics were really great. The only critical thing I have to say about it is that the melody and the chorus uh, didn't really do enough for me. It, it sort of just sort of kind of stayed there. Didn't go anywhere interesting for me, for my ear. Um, minor point, but that's all I can really think of is a really great tune. Chris, uh, like all your songs, uh, very catchy, uh, great production, uh, interesting instrumentation. Um, I really liked it. It was great. I'm not really familiar with that game too much, but it's very. But I, I kind of want to look into it. It's you kind of piqued my interest with it. Uh, I like those kind of stories. Um, but great song. I don't really have too much negative to say about it. The lyrics are solid. It's good. Um, so really all I have to do now is put these in order, and uh, which was very difficult to do because I liked all of them. So number one, uh, I'm gonna have to give to Mitchell. It was, um, it was just a bouncy, it instantly made me think of the Mario Brothers games uh, right away. Uh, well done, well written, well recorded. I, I just have to go with Mitchell for number one on this one. Number two, uh, I'm gonna have to give to Zarni. Uh, it was, it was uh, a great song. It did some interesting things. She performs it wonderfully. Um, so Zarni's going to get number two slot on this one. Number three, I'm going to give to Chris because um, I just, like I said, all four of these songs were difficult to put in order, but um, Chris just comes a little above Rebecca just because of that um, chorus melody issue I had, um, which really is minor. I mean, these are all a plus songs, people. Um, and of course, number four would be Rebecca. But all in all, guys, wonderful job. And that goes for everybody that was in this contest. It, it was really a pleasure listening and judging all this music. It was really wonderful. And um, I probably will not enter this contest because I don't think my ego could take um, losing to most of you. So, <laughs> uh, wonderful job, and um, I'll see you on the, on the internet.